tradition, literary records and observations through the lens of ethical relativism mirrors morality as a timeless definition of humanity, influenced by locality. Traditional religion and morality are seen as correlative values and in view of naturalist interpretation of reality. There is collaboration between individual and public morality through the intermediation of moral agents. Therefore, a fundamental impact of morality involves the domestication of humanity. Ejima, a novel by Imeka Aniagolu, craftily illustrates and unravels some of the most difficult questions bugging the minds of readers of this piece. The questions include, what are the feelings and yearnings of the women who at the time were at the receiving end of this fate? Did they just buy into the old cultural ideology of the land, including willful submission of their twins to be thrown away? Well, as you know, Ejima is the Igbo word for twins as well as identical twins. And in the history of Igbo society, there was a time when they thought twins were an oddity and used to throw them away because they thought they were evil things because they couldn't understand how two human beings could come out looking exactly the same. Because in Igbo cosmology, it's important to understand why they thought that way. Um, they had the concept of chi, and chi was an individuated phenomenon. Everybody had their own chi. And your chi was never going to be the same as anybody else's because you were a specific individual, unique in your individuality. But to find two people that look exactly alike, how were they chi? Are they chi the same? Are they chi different? How is this supposed to work? This must be a strange thing. So they got rid of them. And um, obviously that changed over time. But I found it intriguing that across the river Niger, you had another major ethnic group of people called the Yoruba, who literally venerated um, identical twins, and which was a diametrical difference from what the Igbos had. And then, of course, there was the European element, where some missionaries came, a prominent one, the Scottish lady, Mary Slessor, in the case of the Bibio, who did the same practice and so forth, trying to stop that. My thing was to make sure that the story is retold in literary terms that captures the fact that there are no moral absolutes. You are not these barbarous people in Africa and these well moral people in Europe because Europeans had a lot of their own problems, including killing women as witches and, and burning them at the stake and so on and so forth. So to reconcile that and to make sure that it's not, those absolutes don't invade the way people view these uh, uh, historical episodes, but also to make sure that the moral agency is not taken away from the Africans. Because I found it hard to believe that nobody would have worried about this practice, not even the mother, mm -hmm. mothers of those, of those twins and so forth. So I retold the story in such a way that gave agency to African women, in this case Igbo women, in the transformation that occurred, even though they ended up interacting with Europeans and the Yoruba, etc. The real fault soldiers of saving twin babies were the women of the Igbo society of that era, who fought and diversed several means to stop the inhuman practice of the land, therefore bringing us to the fact that there are no moral absolutes anywhere in the world. Thank you.